Hello everybody, SB Slayer here, and welcome to another mod review. Uh, today, as I'm sure some of you who are more informed can tell from the things around me, uh, we are looking at a Subnautica mod, specifically the Subnautica Flow mod, and my dog decided to bark the second I started recording. Wow, he's being a little asshole. Anyway, uh, so this is a mod that adds a bunch of Subnautica creatures and a few items. Like, uh, the PDA, which I don't think fully works yet, and a few other things. We're going to be looking at specifically the creatures, because I don't think the items work correctly yet. So, without further ado, here's every creature that this mod adds. So we're going to start from the crab snake, go to the bleeder, the gasopod, which I'm pretty sure is just outside, but I'll still show it, the jelly shrooms. The Shadow Leviathan, which I didn't expect to be in this. The Lily Paddler, which I don't think I've actually seen in either of the games. The Baby Sea Monkeys from the, uh, from Subnautica Below Zero, I believe. The Squid Shark. And the Peepers. So, starting from the Crab Snake. These are the Crab Snakes from the, uh, Mushroom Biome area. They pop out of, like, the mushrooms. Of course they're going to be hostile. It's going to be very obvious when things are hostile. But also, I'm pretty sure this jelly shroom is the thing that that thing's supposed to pop out of. Yep, it even comes with one. Yeah, if I spawn a jelly shroom, it just spawns one of those. I see. So anyway, next up is the bleeder. And the bleeders are these little guys. Uh, it's these little fuckers that latch onto you. Like this. I actually didn't expect them to latch onto me because I'm in creative mode. But apparently it does. So, one second. Let me just, uh... Get you off me exactly like I would in the game. <laughs> Little annoying shits. Alright, then, then he was, like, swimming around here earlier, but I might as well show you. This is the gasopod. These are the little guys that are, like, in the reef zone and they'll, like... Do that weird stuff. Then we have the crash fish, like, sulfur plant things. The crash fish actually do pop out of those. They just won't because I'm in creative mode right now. Uh, next up, we have the Shadow Leviathan. Which looks dope as hell. I love the, I love the model work. And the animations. As a modeler and kind of mob animator... Myself, uh, that that's just cool. This is just cool design. Next up, we have the Lily Paddler. Oh, God. I forgot that this thing controlled your mind. Go away. Oh, uh, yeah, you're, you're that thing for the Lily Pad Zone. Ugh. I hate it. But yeah, if it does affect you in, like, a mental way, it does actually affect you in this mod, which is an interesting thing. But yeah, uh, then we have baby sea monkeys, which are adorable as always. Look at the little model. And then we have the squid shark, which I'm expecting something rather big, so we're going to go over here. Oh, no, wait, this is the squid shark. I'm thinking of the other thing. The squid, this is the thing from Below Zero. It, like, hovers around the icebergs and shit. Is big. If I don't think he has a, I, I think only his attack will open his mouth, which sucks. Oh, there's a sand shark already. I mean, we got to show that one. Uh, and then we have the classic peeper. He peeps. So yeah, there's all that row of the creatures, and I forgot the time set or stop time. So we're just gonna deal with that. Now, next we have the Arctic Peeper, the Oculus, Penglings, Pengwing, Hoverfish, uh, Baby Sea Emperors, Snowstalker, Baby Snowstalker, and the Ghost Ray. Now, these are interesting. The Arctic Peeper is, of course, you know, 
Below Zero's version of the Peeper. And the Oculus is this weird... Oh god, I forget which one this is from. I think it's from Below Zero? I, I, I forget which zone it's from, though. I've seen it once, and I forget where the hell I saw it. Uh, but I'm going to need this platform over here for the Pangling. Subnautica's. Subnautica Below Zero's fucking icons. Penglings and penglings. The little babies and, the, and then the mamas. Oh, they even, they even, if you like, run into them, they open the mouth. They open the giant beak so they can swallow you whole. Then we have the hoverfish. Another little iconic starting zone fish. Then we have the baby sea emperor. Because, of course, the baby sea emperors are around. I actually love the baby sea emperors. They're some of my favorite little characters. Then we have Snow Stalkers, which are another land-based creature. No! Get in the water, get in the water, get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. You horrible little shit. Then we have Baby Snow Stalker. I'm, I'm gonna stab this thing. I'm gonna stab this thing. Yeah, none of these creatures have drops. None of these creatures have drops, so I haven't been bothering killing them. But yeah, then we have Ghost, the Ghost Ray. From that, uh, little... From that one tree in the, uh... Down in the brine area. These little guys float around that shit. I can't, they're, they're one of the cooler creatures in Subnautica. I love those little guys. But yeah, uh, we have Crimson Ray, Floaters, Sand Sharks, Gargantuan Levi- I'm sorry, but you're too fucking loud. And you, just go in the water. Anyway. Then we have Reefbacks and Baby Reefbacks, Brine Wings, Brute Sharks, and Jelly Rays. So the Crimson Ray is this thing. I forget where they are. I think they're in Below Zero. But yeah, they exist. Then we have Floaters, which will actually make you float in the water and attach to your head. Like this one has. This one, however, has sealed its death warrant because uh, now I'm going to stab it. It has now died. You attached the wrong person's head, good sir. And then we have the Gargantuan Leviathan. Which I'm pretty sure this is a modded creature. I don't remember ever having to run away from this in Subnautica. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might be one of the things that you can run into outside of the border of the world, though. And the ghost leviathans are also there, but... But after that, we have the Reefback, one of my favorite creatures in the entire game. The classic Reefback. I love the giant whales that just have reefs on their back. That's kind of their big functionality, isn't it? <laughs> they just have reefs on their backs, they're giant whales. Then we have Brine Wings, which I believe these are in one of the Brine Biomes. I forget exactly where. Then we have the Brute Shark, which I'm pretty sure this is below zero. The Jelly Ray, classic. Classic classics. And now, on to... The red featherfish, purple featherfish, crab squid, there's the thing I was looking for, sky rays, rock grub, sea monkeys themselves, rock punchers, the ice worm, and warpers. So yeah, lots of things here, lots of things here. 
So first off, red featherfish. Let's say this. Thank you. I, I believe this is below zero. The featherfish we're in. That's the purple one. And then we have the more intimidating crab squid. Ooh, that is a really good bottle, actually. That is awesome. I love that. I have the Sky Ray, which I spawned underwater like an idiot, and I ran into one of those things. Ah. I hate the nausea effect. But yeah, as you can see, Sky Rays exist. You can have them flying around your world. Are those color variants, or are those the same? No, they're the same. It's just different color underneath. Then we have Rock Grubs, which are these little guys. I don't remember where these guys come in. Then we have the sea monkeys from Below Zero. Then we have the rock punchers, also from Below Zero. They live in the little uh, rock caves. They're a very interesting thing. They're like based off of the. I forget which I forget which lobster it is, but it's that lobster that like punches and like fucking ignites the water. All right, here's another one that's gonna need land. The ice worm. Another one of Subnautica Below Zero's iconic creatures. Fucking massive. Love it. But then we have, uh, if I can get away from the fucking hypnosis bullshit over there. Bunch of those things spawned in, apparently. Then we have the Warper. Because, yes, you can't have Subnautica without Warpers. At least not the first one. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of their entire fucking existence, was everything in there. Next, we're going to start from down here. The Titan Hole Fish. And of course, this is Sonata Blow Zero, if you didn't know. The, this thing just kind of floats around. He's just kind of there. He's very chill. Then we have Symbiotes. Which are just annoying little shits, and oh my god, stupid... I'm gonna kill those things, I swear to god. Then we have... Cryo... Cryo... The Sucus? What is this and where was it? I don't know what game this is from. They have, of course, the Bone Shark. The Lava Lizards. And the Lava Lizard. The thing it evolves into. The River Prowlers. Which these are like from the Brine River area. In the first game. We have the Crash Fish. You know, the little boomy boys. He even goes boom. Then we have the Arctic Ray. Which looks beautiful. I haven't actually seen these yet. But I love that model. That, that is awesome. And then we're down to the Rabbit Ray, the Spiky Trap, the Cuttlefish, the Mesmer, which we've been running into this entire time, and the Stalkers. The Mesmers are just these weird things that I've been running into on accident that have been, like, fucking with my vision. And the Spiky Trap... This is annoying little shit. Oh my god. Could I please? Hold on, F3N. I'm gonna fucking do that. Fuck you. Go to hell. Anyway. Here's the Rabbit Ray. Another classic Subnautica creature. I like the design. I love the way he moves. Can I just say, every creature's animations in this are just fucking spot on. It's the cuttlefish. Eee, the cuttlefish, I love him. I love him. I love him, I want him. God, I'm gonna have to play Subnautica again, aren't I? Then we have, of course, the Stalker. The classic Subnautica enemy. These fuckers are annoying. You have to get teeth from them. They're, they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> 
But yeah, that is all of the creatures in this mod. And that's, that's kind of like the main feature that's actually working in this mod, is all the creatures. I love how this guy's just stayed here. Oh, wow, he, he can be punched. I wasn't sure if he could be punched. He's also very big. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got a very weird hitbox. Anyway. That is just about everything for this video. Uh, that's all I've, been, all I've been able to, like, figure out. Everything else just doesn't want to work for me. Other than, like, one other thing. Which is the... Creator machine thing. All I need to do is get this ion scrap, which I'm... Which is, like, I'm pretty sure made by combining these. And it will... It will activate. Doing a little animation. And then creating this. A precursor defender. That is also this precursor robot droid. Or drone. Which turns you invisible and you, like, ride it. It doesn't. It does not have the ability to jump though, and can't can't climb walls or anything. It's just kind of just exists, and then if you get off it, it pops back into your inventory. But yeah, that is about it. So I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you was during the rings of the SCP Foundation, don't shoot that like button, slow those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Also, it, if you have any mod ideas, please comment it down. I actually got recommended this mod through the, through a comment, so. Uh, yeah, if you want, if you want me to review something, uh, just comment it. Anyway, guys, see you next video. Peace.